Hey guys, I'm Shannon with Come Again TV, and today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at the Hollywood Spotlight Collector's Edition Superman 80th Anniversary Celebration. So make sure you stay tuned to check this out. see here we have the Hollywood Spotlight Collector's Edition 80th Anniversary Special of Superman the ultimate guide to the movies TV shows comics and more get a nice display image there of Christopher Reeve the most popular of the Superman uh, with the animated version of Superman there Lois and Clark the new adventures of Superman a super rom a superheroes super romances what's next for the Man of Steel and saying goodbye to Margot Kidder uh, I was at Walmart the other day, saw this, decided to pick it up. There's a nice looking picture of Brandon Ralph flying around the sun or around the earth in Superman Returns. Brandon Ralph played Superman just once. The film was a disappointment as the box office, but remains part of a very exclusive fraternity. Only four actors have ever played Big Blue on the big screen. Turn the page to find out more. And here's the contents. Uh, you've got Superman the Animated Series. You've got the George Reeves version of Superman. Uh, the Christopher Reeve and Margot Kidder, Superman and Lois Lane. Superman memorabilia. Superman's creators, Lois and Clark, Brandon Routh. Uh, Forever First, the greatest superhero of, of them all, is also the very first of them all. And he ushered in a brand new era. That's not accurate. If you guys go back to our video on who was the first superhero, you will see it was not Superman. It was actually the Scarlet Pimpernel and the first comic book superhero. There were a few others before Superman. I can't think of them right off the top of my head. But Superman was not the first, though he was the most popular and the most long-lived. In the beginning, the creation of the Man of Steel and how he went from a teenager's flight of fancy to one of the best known characters in literature. The creators, you know the story of Superman, but how about the two Cleveland kids who created him? The comic books. Just as the world has evolved over the decades, so have Superman and the funny books that launched him. The cartoons. Nobody gets animated quite like the Man of Steel, as evidenced by all the shows he starred in through the decades. Circle of Friends, every great superhero has a great supporting cast, and Superman's ensemble is one of the very best. And then it goes on from there. Uh, Lois and Clark was actually one of my favorite incarnations of Superman, uh, but again, nothing beats Christopher Reeve. Uh, I liked Lois and Clark simply because it came out at a time when I was growing up. Never missed an episode. I really enjoyed the show. I had the, I had a super crush on Terry Hatcher. Scene from Superman the movie, where Ma and Pa can't find young Kal El uh, from Man of Steel. Joe Schuster and Jerry Siegel in the 1980s after they had reached an agreement with Warner Brothers to give them proper credit and an annual stipend for creating Superman. Superman's True Fathers. You got Doc Savage, you got The Shadow, you got John Carter of Mars, Detective Comics, and look, Superman was blonde. Some, uh, comic books here. I actually used to have that one there. And this was a post-crisis first uh, origin story for Superman. I'm not going to talk about every single page. Uh, I'll let you guys buy a copy to read it. Uh, but here you have Justice League, which later evolved into Justice League Unlimited. Old Max Flesher cartoons. Hanna-Barbera's Super Friends. Superman Aquaman Action Hour.
I didn't really care for Amy Adams as Lois Lane until Batman v Superman during the infamous bathtub scene. Every fanboy in the theater looking up, trying to get a glimpse at a, you know. <laughs> we got Supergirls there. They did great job casting for Perry White. Got Cat Grant there. You got the Legion from Smallville. Got the Max Flesher Superman. George Reeve, Christopher Reeves, no relation. And Dean Kane. Brandon Routh. I, I don't understand why they made Jesse Eisenberg Lex Luthor. That that's just that was a stupid casting decision. The dumbest casting decision I've ever seen. Uh, Brian Austin Green as Metallo was a pretty decent casting choice. Not perfect, but decent. Uh, again, I don't know why they rushed the Doomsday character in Man in Batman v Superman. Again, I loved Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. Who didn't love Terry Hatcher back in the day? She's still a very attractive wo woman. Um, I remember only really seeing one, maybe two episodes of Gerard Christopher's Superboy back in the day. Um, I caught almost every episode of Smallville. and But... Here we have the story of Christopher Reeve, Margot Kidder, George Reeves, Bud Collier, Kirk Allen, Dean Kane, Terry Hatcher, and Brandon Routh. Uh, Kate Bosworth was an okay Lois Lane. She was, she was what you would expect Lois to be. So she did great until they brought in the whole Superman son or Superman son storyline in the movie. That part really, really sucked. But no, the the actors did a great job in the movie. Henry Cavill and Amy Adams. Amy Adams, decent, decent version of Lois Lane. Uh, she probably should have had darker hair though. Uh, overall, I'd say Kate Bosworth did the best in the movies. However, Terry Hatcher is by far the best Lois Lane. Hands down, period. Even better, I'd say even better than Noelle Neal or Margot Kidder. I, I just, I loved Terry Hatcher as Lois Lane. She was the ultimate Lois Lane, in my opinion. Uh, some of the uh, people who were up for the role of Superman... Uh, talked about Clint Eastwood being Superman and Dustin Hoffman. But ultimately, Christopher Reeves got the role. Um, not bad. Not, not a bad issue at all. Uh, I have not read it all the way through yet. Uh, I've just kind of looked at it, browsed through it a little bit here and there. I do recommend, if you're a comic book fan, Superman fan at all, pick this up. $13 here in the U.S. On newsstands everywhere right now. Pick it up. Hollywood Spotlight Collector's Edition Superman 80th Anniversary Special. We have a lot of videos and playlists on this channel, so if you enjoyed this content, make sure you click here to visit our channel. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Click here and here to check out one of the many playlists we have.